Would it surprise you if I told you the word vaccine was actually named after cows? Well, it was. And in this video, we're going to explore the origin of the word vaccine. And I have to warn you, it's not pretty, but it is interesting. The word vaccine was coined by English doctor Edward Jenner in the 1790s when he scientifically investigated the idea that exposing humans to cowpox, a mild disease found in cows, could protect against smallpox, a more serious disease affecting humans. Dr. Jenner named this treatment vaccine from the Latin word vacca and the suffix ine from Latin meaning made of. So vaccine literally means made of cow or made of cow pox. In the 1790s, Dr. Jenner decided to investigate whether there was any truth in the urban legend of the day that milkmaids who got cow pox, a disease that causes ulcers on cow teats and can spread to humans, didn't get the far more deadly human disease of smallpox. Cowpox was not deadly to humans, only leaving them with one or two skin ulcers. Dr. Jenner went on to do an experiment that would never be allowed today, but possibly saved more lives than any one other action in the history of humanity. He took pus material from the cowpox ulcer on a milkmaid's hands and introduced that fluid into a cut he made in the arm of an eight-year-old boy named James Phipps. Six weeks later, Dr. Jenner exposed the boy to smallpox. But the boy did not develop a smallpox infection, even after 20 exposures to the disease. The boy, James Phipps, later married, had two children and lived to the ripe old age of 65. Initially, the term vaccine specifically meant administering cowpox pus into a human being to protect them against smallpox. Almost a century after Dr. Jenner had developed his technique, the great Louis Pasteur of Paris tested what he called a rabies vaccine, although at the time the term vaccine was only used when administering cowpox pus against smallpox. Pasteur actually produced a rabies antidote once someone contracted rabies. This use of the term stretched past its original meaning, past its Latin word associations with cow and cowpox virus. Science doesn't have to be pretty to be pretty amazing, and neither does etymology. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to receive updates on future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks goes out to one of my English students, Maria in Lisbon, for the video idea. Thank you.